Hello boys and girls, my name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer and today I have, as I promised on Monday Drum, a few cocktails with Campari. So if you miss the Monday Drum, this is where I present a different spirit liqueur, Amari or fortified wine, anything from the big world of the spirits, okay? So this Monday I talk about my favorite bitter aperitivo, Campari, and I promise to make a few cocktails. So today I picked three cocktails. Uh, each one it's for every different level of your liking of Campari. So if you never try one, maybe one of these cocktails is gonna be for you because have less Campari. If you love Campari, other recipe is gonna be perfect for your test and one kind of in the middle. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget you can always subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any Monday drum or Thursday videos where I present cocktails. Of course, from the new year, I have some new things coming up, so make sure, click this subscribe button. Don't miss any of the new stuff coming in 2022. It's already 2022. Time's fly. But anyway, if you're ready, boys and girls, let's make a three delicious cocktails with Campari. Since we talk Campari, today the Campari is going to be the hero of all three cocktails. Of course, you may say for one of them it's a very little amount to call the hero of the cocktail, but the cocktail is a riff on a marmalade cocktail taken from the Savoy cocktail book and it's elevating to a different level with adding a little bit of the bitterness from this fantastic Italian bitter aperitivo. So even it's not the main ingredient, even it's a very little amount inside, I do like to categorize under the Campari section and the other two pretty much you can call it even with the rest of the ingredients. However, let's start with the first cocktail, which is for all of you who already know the taste of the Campari, but you don't want to be that dominant of the bitterness and just kind of bring a slight bitter herbal notes to your cocktail. And this is the world famous Anzoni. So think of the Anzoni as Negroni, but with more fruity and citrus side, okay? So let's start building up. You're gonna need a shaker and you're gonna need five to six uh, seedless grapes. So I have white grape, okay, no red, white grape. So I have uh, six here because one of them is gonna be my garnish. So I'm just gonna leave it on the side and the other five go in the shaker. All you need to do is muddle these grapes and then add the rest of the ingredients before you're shaking. So. When you muddle the grape, that's gonna release a lovely fruity juices from the grape and this is gonna kind of lower down the bitterness of your Campari. Next ingredient, you need 30 ml of London Dry Gin. Any wonderful London Dry Gin will do, so whatever you have at home. Then of course we need the star of the show here, we need 30 ml of our Campari Bitter Aperitivo. Next ingredient, it will be a 15 ml of simple sugar syrup. That's all you need, 15 ml of simple sugar syrup. And finally, to bring a little bit zest to the cocktail, we're gonna use 22 and a half ml of a freshly squeezed lemon juice. There you go. Let's add some ice, let's give it a shake and serve. Shake about 10 to 15 seconds until the shaker is really nice and frozen. Then you grab your old fashioned glass, preferably if you have a big chunk of ice. It's preferably, but if you don't, just use your normal ice. Pop the ice inside and give it a double strain because you don't want any of the grape pulp or, for example, if you didn't find seedless grape, you don't want even the seeds to go inside, okay? But please find seedless grape if you can. And just double strain it over your large cube of ice. Give it a good swirl because it's gonna be obviously all incorporated with the ice and it's gonna go a little bit slower than the usual pouring, okay? That's it. Put the shaker on the side and grab yourself a bamboo stick or any kind of a cocktail pick you have at home. And just pop one lovely green grape on the top and these boys and girls, it's the Anzoni. So let's try. 
Mm. Grapes going everywhere. Just pop it like that. Wonderful. Dry, bitter, but mild bitter, not very strong because the lemon and the grape bringing this lovely freshness of citrus and fruitiness to the cocktail. Absolutely fantastic, wonderful refre Oh, <laughs> sorry. I do love this cocktail, it's just absolutely amazing. Next one. The next cocktail, boys and girls, it's served directly in the glass and it's very popular in the south of Italy. It's called Sorrentino cocktail. So all you need, it's an old fashioned glass, just fill it up with ice. Now this is basically again a cocktail inspired by kind of the structure of the Negroni, but obviously with a little change here. So we're gonna fill it up with ice just to the top and we'll start with our first ingredient, which is limoncello. So you need 30 ml of limoncello It doesn't matter which limoncello you use, as far it's a good limoncello, okay? So there you go. Then we're going with 30 ml of the sweet vermouth. So basically here the limoncello is replacing the gin in the original Negroni, okay? And finally we have 22 and a half of Campari bitter. There we go. Give it a briefly stirring with a bar spoon or any spoon you have. To be honest, I think I have a little bit too much ice, so I'm gonna take one off. Yeah, briefly stir the cocktail and finally just top up with the soda water. Or if you prefer, boys and girls, you can top up with a tonic. It's up to you. It's all up to your test. The original is with the soda water, which is keeping the refreshment of the vermouth, limoncello and Campari. But if you like to kind of engage more with the bitter side, if you like more the bitter side, go with the tonic. Give another little stir just to incorporate the soda with all the ingredients inside. And for the garnish, a dehydrate orange wheel just inside in the glass. And this, boys and girls, is a Sorrentino cocktail. Cheers! Wonderful. This is... Now, this is a cocktail for all of you who probably kind of are new to Campari and you don't want really to experience the full strength of the bitterness of this wonderful aperitivo. So, you have the sweet vermouth which is gonna mellow down the Campari, you have the limoncello bringing the wonderful sweet citrusy note and of course the soda or tonic water to dilute all this mixture and make it really pleasant for the palate. So if you are new to the Campari, I strongly suggest to start with something like this, like the Sorrentino cocktail. So boys and girls, this is gonna be the last for today. And if you're ready, let's build the English marmalade cocktail. What you're gonna need, it's a civilian orange marmalade or any good orange marmalade. And then you need four spoons. So bar spoon or a teaspoon, whatever you have at home. Don't be short on the marmalade, okay? You need a good amount in it. Then we're gonna need 60 ml of our London dry gin. And here where you're gonna stop for a moment. What you're gonna need to do here is take your time a little bit and make sure you dissolve the marmalade inside in the gin you make sure it's incorporated as much as possible before you actually shaking the cocktail, okay? It will take you probably around 20 to 30 seconds to incorporate proper. If it's a good marmalade, it will be thick, so you're gonna need this time. Right, as I mentioned, this is for all of you who kind of start to experience Campari. It's only five mil or one bar spoon. That's all it is. It's bringing just a touch of this bitter herbal aperitivo inside to the mix no more than that then you need 15 ml of the fresh squeeze lemon juice a 15 ml of sugar syrup and finally to bring just a little more touch of bitterness we'll be using a orange bitter in my case i'm gonna use angostura orange bitter use whatever orange bitter you have I'm gonna use two dashes, okay? Original recipe, 
require one, but hey, you should know by now how much I like bitters, okay? We don't need this anymore, this bar spoon, because the cocktail is shaken. So fill up your shaker with ice. And give it a good shake for about 20 seconds. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Grab your glass and uh, preferably put your glass in the freezer to be chilled because you serve this straight up. There's no ice involved here, of course. I can't stop you if you want to serve it over ice. That's your own choice. Double strain, you have the marmalade, so you may have some bits in the marmalade. So give it a double strain. In the real life situation, it's happened exactly the same. A good cocktail steak time. Now what I'm gonna do is just to help a little bit. Just gonna get my bar spoon and move a little bit around the pulps from the orange, which is kind of left from the marmalade inside in the sieve. Beautiful. This is it, shakers can go on the side. And I will garnish this with a nice orange zest. So bear with me here. There you go. We're gonna get a lovely long orange zest as possible. So I need a big, nice orange zest. Put on the side. Then I need my knife and what's gonna happen here is just uh, make sure I have the perfect cut strip just gonna end it on the end like a little bit kind of a ribbon okay cut in the middle and that's what you're gonna have like a one nice ribbon cut in the middle Squeeze a little bit like that. And just put on the end of your glass and it's gonna keep it nice and steady like it's small ribbon on the end of the glass. And this boys and girls is the English marmalade cocktail. Cheers. Oh, this, it's a heaven in a glass. First thing you get is the lovely aromas from the orange zest on the rim because that's the first thing coming to your nose. And then of course you have this absolutely smooth, fantastic balanced drink. Now, very slight bitter, like a, just a very small touch on the very end coming from the Campari and the orange bitter. And that's what you want to start slowly getting used to the bitterness of all this fantastic aperitivo and slowly building up with other cocktails until you fully kind of uh, train your palate to love the bitterness and the uh, herbal notes of all this aperitivo or amaris or liqueurs. It's a fantastic. If you like oranges, if you like a lovely smooth thick and easy to drink cocktail with a good texture and good balance, the English marmalade cocktail is just, you gotta try this. Cheers guys. All the best, stay safe, I'll see you next Monday with another Monday drum. Until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.